In this video, I'll talk about handling error messages in case of streaming event sources for Lambda. Examples of streaming sources could be Kinesis, Data Streams, Data Firehose, or DynamoDB Streams. I'll be taking example of Kinesis Data Streams in this video to show you how you can implement Lambda error handling. We'll cover a complete demo on how you can handle error messages when you're using Lambda as a consumer of your Kinesis Streams. A typical use case could be like this. You have set of producers such as website clickstream data, IoT sensors data, or logs, which are being sent to Kinesis data streams. Internally, Kinesis is nothing but consists of shards. A shard defines how much data can be written and how much data can be read from a data stream. These data producers keep on adding data to Kinesis shards at very high rate. This data can be thousands of records per second. Then we have Lambda service that polls this stream for new records in batch. Let's say 200 records. So this batch size is configurable in Lambda. And once the batch records are available, these are processed by Lambda function. If successful, then Lambda advances to the next batch of records and so on. So this is a typical use case when you are using Lambda as a consumer for Kinesis data streams. So let me explain polling of the batches by Lambda service in detail. So let's say that uh, there are total 600 messages in your Kinesis shards split into three batches. First batch, second batch and third batch, each batch having 200 messages. So Lambda service will pick 200 messages first. That means the first batch and once this is processed, then the next batch would be picked up. That is the second one and the third one. Now consider a scenario if one of the message is a bad message, or you can say the problematic message that causes Lambda to fail. Then in that case, error would be returned by Lambda. And Lambda service will keep on trying the batch which contains that problematic message. And it will keep on processing until the max age of record expires. So that means with default setting of Lambda, Lambda would keep on trying the batch for up to seven days. So you can imagine that one bad record can block the processing of the affected shard up to seven days. So that's why error handling is very important when you are using Lambda as a consumer for your Kinesis data streams. So this problematic message is generally considered as a poison message. Why poison message? Because let's say if in a batch of 200 records, if 100th message is failed, then that entire batch is tried again and again. When we talk about the batch processed again and again, so there could be two problems with that. So the first could be duplicate message processing. Why duplicate messages? Because when a batch is retried, Lambda function will keep on processing the first 99 messages. Here we are considering that the 100th message is problematic. So all the messages before 100th message would be processed. That means from 1 to 99, all the messages are processed. And this will keep on getting processed until we fix this 100th message or this record gets expired. So we will have duplicates of these 99 messages with each retries unless your processing is idempotent. So this can cause duplicate data in your system. And the second issue is delayed data processing. The purpose of streaming solution is to process messages as soon as possible. That is without any delay. For example, if you want to show leaderboard in a live game that should be done instantaneously. And if your batch of messages has a poison message, let's say in our case, the 100th message, then further batches in Kinesis shard will not be processed on time and you won't be taking advantage of streaming data. So that's why, you know, error handling is extremely important in this case. We can say that with streaming sources, we have mainly two concerns. One is accept poison message. All other messages should be successfully processed and that too only once. So this concern will address the issue of duplicate messages. Second concern is batch with poison message should not block the further processing of messages in a shard. So by fixing this particular issue, we will prevent the processing delays. So both of these concerns can be handled by two ways. 
फर्स्ट इज प्रोग्रामेटिकली वेर इन यू कैन कोड योर लेमडा इन सच अ वे दैट यू शुड कैच एक्सेप्शन फॉर बैड मैसेजेस एंड सक्सेसफुली सेंड द रिस्पॉन्स ऑफ योर लेमडा एंड दीज बैड मैसेजेस कैन बी सेंड टू एस क्यू एस क्यू और एस एन एस टॉपिक और काइनेसिस डेटा फायर होस्ट एंड द सेकेंड वे इज टू यूज प्रॉपर लेमडा सेटिंग्स विच आर प्रोवाइडेड बाई ए डब्ल्यू एस वील नाउ कवर दीज लेमडा सेटिंग्स विच यू कैन कॉन्फिगर एंड बाई यूजिंग दीज सेटिंग्स यू कैन सक्सेसफुली प्रोसेस योर मैसेजेस सो द फर्स्ट सेटिंग इज बाइसेक्ट ऑन फंक्शन एरर सो विद दिस बाइसेक्ट ऑन फंक्शन एरर अनेबल्ड लेमडा ब्रेक्स द इम्पैक्टेड बैच ऑफ रिकॉर्ड इन टू टू वेन अ फंक्शन रिटर्न एन एरर एंड रीट्राइज दैम सेपरेटली सो दिस अलाउज यू टू इजिली सेपरेट द मेल फॉर्म डेटा फ्रॉम द रेस्ट ऑफ द बैच फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू कैन सी इन दिस डायग्राम सो इनिशियली देर आर टू हंड्रेड मैसेजेस एंड वंस एरर अकर्स सो दिस इज डिवाइडेड इन टू टू इन आर केस एज वी डिस्कस्ड अर्लियर आर हंड्रेड मैसेज इज द बैड मैसेज सो इन दैट केस दिस डिविजन इज सक्सेसफुली प्रोसेस्ड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर बैच हेयर वेन एरर अकर्स दिस विल बी अगेन डिवाइडेड इन टू टू सो दिस विल बी सक्सेसफुल एंड इन दिस केस ऑल्सो हंड्रेड वुड बी अ बैड मैसेज सो दिस विल कीप ऑन डिवाइडिंग द बैच अंटिल दिस फाइंड्स द हंड्रेड मैसेज एंड it will process the retries of this hundreds message only and rest all the messages would be successfully processed second is maximum record age your lambda function can skip processing a data record when it has reached its maximum record age so this particular setting is configurable from 60 seconds to 7 days so you can set this age to a value so that after that particular age that record skipped and rest of the batches are processed by lambda then we have maximum retry attempts your lambda function can skip retrying a batch of records when it has reached the maximum retry attempts so this value is also configurable from 0 to 10000 so by default the value is 10000 so the maximum values let's say if in case error occurs and you have not specified the retry attempts value then your lambda will try that particular batch for 10000 times so you can imagine that amount of duplicacy that you can have in your lambda processing ideally you can keep it a max two retries that we have uh, like in case of asynchronous processing then the last one is own failure destination so this is similar to what we have covered in asynchronous failure you can configure a destination dlq wherein you can have sqs q or sns topic when a data record reaches the maximum retry attempts or maximum record age you can send its metadata like shard id and stream arn to one of these two destinations for further investigations these are very important setting so i will cover all these four settings in the demo stay tuned for that let me first go to the console to show you all these four settings when you create a lambda function from a streaming source I'll open Lambda. I'll click on Create Function. I can name this as Kinesis Error Handling Example. I'll choose Runtime as Java 11 and click on Create Function. So when you go and add trigger, if you select here Kinesis or Dynamo DB Streams. you have this additional settings which are optional so in this additional settings you can see that the first is own failure destination so you can specify a queue or topic arn here so that you can send discarded records from a stream to amazon sqs queue or sns topics all the messages which have exhausted their maximum retry attempts or maximum record age would be sent to this particular sns topic or sqs queue then you have retry attempts the maximum number of times to retry so by default it's minus 1 that means the maximum you can update this to a realistic value such as 2 or 3 or 10 whatever is desirable for you then the maximum age of record that lambda sends to function for processing you can see that the age can be up to 7 days again minus 1 is mentioned here that means the maximum age so you can mention a realistic value also here then there is option to split batch on error so you can see that if a function returns an error split the batch into two and retry so these four values are very important here so i'll first give you demo what happens when you don't specify these values 
and then once we see the errors then we can use all these four values we'll see what difference this makes to our lambda processing so let's see how these four settings fits into the complete flow with lambda and kinesis so this is a complete flow guys uh, you have producers producers are sending data at a very high rate and then your lambda is consuming all the messages and what happens when the lambda failed because of one particular bad message or you can say a poison message so first of all it will bisect the batch on function error so let's say that we had 15 messages that will be divided into let's say 8 and 7 messages this will keep on bisecting until it finds the poison message so now let's say that after bisect it found one poison message and for that particular poison message if max age is reached or maximum retry attempts are exhausted then the message would be sent to the DLQ. So this is the lambda error handling functionality in case of streaming sources which is Kinesis data streams and DynamoDB. So this would be it from the video. I hope you liked it and do subscribe this channel to watch more content like this. Thank you.